Oh, okay. Welcome back to the big board again. We're cranking through Scorpion in a bottle, Corson Pocket. Uh, it's the end of the Soviet turn three. And I, I went back and had a look at the rules and there are no uh, replacements for the Soviets at all. So I did a quick little recalculation of uh, by going back and look at the pictures and stuff like that uh, and adjusted things. I had uh, replaced one of these uh, <clears throat> formations here and then also uh, some other steps and stuff. So I took all that stuff back off the board. So we're sort of back to kind of sort of back to where we should be. My goof there and same, uh, similar for the, <coughs> excuse me, similar for the Germans, but the die rolls I made were equivalent to what they were supposed to be getting anyway, although we probably wouldn't get this uh, hedgehog actually, so uh, that would probably come off the map. All right. End of turn three for the Soviets, the German turn three yet to be done. As you can see, a couple of uh, DG units were uh, pushing through, breaking through on uh, a number of areas. It's also kind of skinny down here as well. Um, so that's a, that's a little nerve wracking in of itself. Um, well, uh, this is a mess and these guys are all gonna be out of supply this coming turn. I don't know really what to do about that. I'm, I've probably not played the Germans to the best of my ability. Probably held on too long up here with the, the SS forces. Probably should have pulled back last turn like I thought I was going to, but then I thought I was doing okay. Uh, if I had reinforcements or something substantial, that's actually worth having a look at. See if I do get something turn three, it might make a difference. Turn three... Well, so I do. So this might make a difference. 103. Excuse me, 103. Okay. So 3rd Panzer Corps HQ comes in with 16th Panzer Division with 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 5, five units. 17th Panzer with 1, 2, 3. That's called 4 units. And then a couple of Tigers and bits and pieces. So pretty hefty reinforcements actually for for Feb 1 for these guys. So now that, what that would allow us to do potentially with, uh, and I'm sorry about the lights, but it's a, it's an Elkhorn <laughs> light. It's really annoying. Uh, but it's probably nice, I guess, if you're, you know, into that. Hello, come on camera. Work with me here. Wow. Is, there we go. Really just uh, pissing me off. There we go. We could potentially come in here and push up this angle, potentially, right? Uh, really try and drive, try and maybe cut supply off. But you're probably not going to do that. What you're going to do is reinforce this area here and, and try and, you know, build another line somewhere or something. So I, I feel like... That would be interesting to do, and I will probably do that tomorrow morning. I am uh, burnt out on the game at the moment. I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's been a long day, just regardless, just uh, game playing and doing other bits and pieces. So I'm going to leave this for the evening, and then we'll come back fresh. It's going to be the German turn on the 1st of Feb, 1943. Uh, we've got some air available uh, that we can do a few things with. I lost a step of air putting a DG on this little guy who I forgot to take off. Uh, so he'll be available next turn. <clears throat> uh, this guy sacrificed himself to be a spotter. It's just one step left. And we got to try and get these guys out of here, I guess. But anyway, that's a, that's a wrap for tonight. Even though it's early, I am... Uh, I'm bushed and I might go watch a little bit of TV and just uh, deadhead it for a while. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.